I said, oh, I can video like this. What is going on, YouTube? This is your boy SJ coming back with some more DD2. Now we're going to be talking about Monk, hero damage, and ability power builds. I find out mainly hero damage, his abilities are not that great. Um, but you want Heroic Wave to be your main build around because it's going to increase your damage. And you can get a certain amount of percentage on different pieces of gear, but will increase that even more damage percentage but as you see here improve hero damage um, two spheres 42 and 10 improve hero crit chance by plus three I mean I can throw crit chance across the board I can throw hero damage across the board it's really preference but this is what I've been using right now um, I have cooldown so I can keep heroic wave up longer and my large sphere is serenity or increase hero damage by 25 percent which is good because Serenity Aura's build is really good and really wide range and help you heal. Now I was going to use this other one. Each range attack increases the damage of the next primary attack. So each secondary attack, each melee attack will stack up to six times and you'll be able to your next fireball or whatever you want to call it will be your secondary attack will be increased damage but it only happens for the first hit so that's why that's not that good I find out just playing empower, empowering calm sphere I do find that is the best sphere if you want to build around DPS for your monk alright well let's go into the gear um, the gear is pretty all over the place right now um, you want heroic wave on your heroic wave power up heroic wave damage boost on your weapons and you want it on your relic because that damage boost is where monk gets most of his dps from and then across the board hero damage ability power i want channeling on this obviously and the same here this is a really good piece taser suit so anytime i take damage and that goes in this chest can go in with other spheres if i want to make a tanky build you can run thorns as you see here 60 percent chance on hit to return damage equal to 20 percent of hero damage so it's pretty good if you're building straight hero damage this is going to be a sphere that you want to use and if you're building a little bit of ability power a little bit of hero damage you might want to use just the cooldowns so you can get your chi blast or you can keep your heroic wave up as long as possible as you go web weapons None of these have upgraded. I was just a lot of farming, different farming. This is just the best stuff I've found within the last couple of days. Just simple farm, simple farm, simple farm. Nothing really special. Now, the passives on here are not that great. I, need, I still need a ring that is going to have heroic wave healing and heroic wave damage boost. And then I want um, super, super conductor for the top one instead of empower boost aura basically I want this but I want it on a ring and I don't want empowerment I want superconductor and obviously I need ability power not defensive health and defensive power I need ability power and hero chance but this rolled pretty good I mean it rolled really good um, just at the boost aura that's the only thing and obviously it's a totem so it's gonna have defensive health on it as the main first you need the rings like if you're building around defensive health you need totems for ability power and hero damage you want rings and medallion is defensive power and so forth but now about the weapons like i have a lot of interchange weapons from heavy medium light um heavy does a lot of deeps uh light does a lot of attacks that are a little not as strong as they should be but they're strong but let's hop right into it give you a nice little dps boost and as you see here, this is just regular 22. Now we're going to hit the heroic wave 24. Now we even drop a serenity aura. That's just serenity aura. Wait until the heroic wave goes off. All right, heroic wave is off. Now this is just serenity aura 28. Just serenity aura. Now throw heroic heroic wave on there and it's just deeps bruh deeps 48k and that's just with basic 
basic gear, not really going in depth, making looking at every last piece of gear. This is just really just picking up gear. So you can easily get 50k um, DPS with your monk, um, depending on what you have on your weapons. Obviously, you want life on hit and stuff like that, but you really need power up. That's the main thing. That's the only reason why I'm not using the light one, this one right here, because it doesn't have power up on it. But I'll show you. I love the speed of this. It's crazy. 22 deeps. And that's just inside the aura. Now without the aura, I don't think it's going to hit the hour. See, the spin doesn't even hit 2k. Over here now. It's heroic wave it plus the serenity aura. It's just insane. That is pretty sick. It's pretty sick. So I'm going to do a heroic wave again. So that's at what, 32, 33, 37. So it's, it's there. I mean, the deeps are there, but you really want heroic wave. I mean, not the healing, you want the power up. You want heroic wave power up. So let's see the heavy. Do I have a heavy? Yeah, no, that's a medium. I don't have a heavy. Is this a heavy? Here's a heavy with um, power up. Uh, these are light, I think. Light, and yeah, they're not really. These are just regular build. But light, see how hard this hits. In Serenior, no heroic boost. 24. I mean, the attacks are slow, but they hit hard. So it's basically what you want. I mean, as of right now, medium is probably the best thing for me. Now let's go aura, a her heroic. And that's pretty sick right there. Almost 40k deeps. The lowest hit is about 13k. So it hits hard. There's a 9k in there. So it does hit hard. Now you throw heroic wave on there again. And why heroic wave is active, it's just insane. 39k. And the pet. Hero damage and physical resist. You also want physical resist on your gear, if I didn't say so. Um, the best thing is physical resist. Magic resist is not really needed, but that's all I've been getting. As you see, all my gear has magic resist on it instead of physical resist. But I think physical resist would be your best bet for the monk, since you're going to be up in the face. And so forth. Let's go into stats now. Stats, max on health, and the rest in the hero damage. Um, the max on health is because the monk, he ta he can take hits, but he can't take hits like a squire can because of he doesn't have the second shield block, but he can take damage, but not as much. So you need that health. The health, this 11k health will definitely help staying alive. And plus, you're going to be in serenity aura most of the time. So your health is going to be going down, going up, going down, going up. And that's also thing. You can also build hero damage serenity aura build where... Your main deeps are coming because you're sitting in the Serenity or you can't die because you're, so much health is being recovered. But you're going to want Serenity healing rate on your gloves and stuff like that. And that would took a long time. A lot of progression to make that full build video. But that's why you can expect a part 2 as soon as possible. But as you see there, almost maxing the hero health off the top so you can stay alive. You want to be able to stay alive late game, Nightmare 1, 2, 3, and 4. Especially Nightmare 4 and Nightmare 3. The enemies hit hard. They hit really hard. Really hard in Nightmare 4. But other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Because I got a lot more coming. There's going to be a part 2 to this. Part 2, when I get better legendary weapons. No, I want a light one. I would like a light one. Of <laughs> legendary pole arm. I would like a light one of these with life leech power up. And... Hero damage and ability powers. Kind of like this one. Just no harmony. I want power up instead of I want hero crit chance. And on the top, it can be anything really. Um, it doesn't matter. But hopefully, you guys did enjoy. So, quick build on the monk. And it is nice. Actually, let me show you that second sphere. That I was telling you about why I'm not using it. Because as you see here. 
Yep, I'm doing attack. As of right now, it doesn't have an icon or anything that the stacks are happening, but the stacks are happening. And then my first hit is going to be like 20. See, 27k first hit. Now let's try that again. Stack up. You basically just stack them, stack them, stack them. Alright. Then you go. See that? 27, so... The first it's only the first hit though and that's why I don't really like it I rather have 25% flat out boost when I'm standing in Serenity Aura which is gonna be pretty much all the time because Serenity Aura is a must need for endgame but like I said hopefully you guys did enjoy a lot more to come there's gonna be a part two to this I still got Squire I still got ability power to offer my my main my lovely mage and apprentice and that's it later